So if your company needs any heavy lifting, then I think you need to get down to Piab. I'm here with Peter, who is demonstrating here some of the machinery that they've got on display. Peter, what have we got going on here? Uh, this is a, a Vaculex TP. Um, Vaculex TP is a, an ergonomic uh, lifting assist. Basically, electric driven pump, as you can see behind. Uh, we have this lift tube that, uh, this one has a capacity of 60 kilos, but uh, it's mainly based around uh, manual handling needs and any issues with the, with the guys on site. So all the, everything that you need for heavy lifting, really? Yeah, yeah pretty much. I mean, we lift uh, as a whole, it's from zero to 250 kilo. Um, the industries that we're in are, are endless, to be honest with you, and health and safety is a huge, a huge impact at the moment. Where, so. And I, can hear, I can hear that, obviously, is, that, is it a suction pad? How does it work? It. So basically, if I just put this down, we've got an electric driven pump, and you'll see the grey hose that goes into the top of the lift tube, and then we've got a manoeuvre handle, and uh, obviously whatever suction cup you use, but we're just about creating a vacuum inside this lift tube. So as you see, when I squeeze in, it's just releasing the air out of the system. As soon as we touch the product and grip, as I start loosening it, it just creates the vacuum chamber and away we go. And it's designed to lift 100% of the weight. So there's no limitations on whatever we're picking up. As long as it's in the capacity, we're okay. Fantastic, so this is the capacity for 60 kilos, but this Correct. one looks a little bit um, heavier, that's it, and while so. while that's being lined up, you can tell me a little bit about uh, about Piab, maybe. Yeah, sure. I mean, Piab's oh, crikey, 50 odd years old. They've got an automation and a, a conveying side, and Vaculex, as the group Swedish owned, were a, a company bought out a year and a half, uh, and we've been designing this this technology for over 30 years. But basically, uh, when we were acquired a year and a half ago to be part of the tube lifting uh, design, that was what we we're really pushing towards. So, we've got this up and running now. As you can see on the, on the design as well up there, one of the things that we're trying to push at the moment and get into the industry is the, the keg lifting tool. So this keg, I mean, you can try and lift it. If you just try and have a little pull on that, I'm okay. not lying. It's, it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a whirl. I mean, no chance, no that's, chance. That's 70 kilos. So <laughs> what, uh, what we do, we just uh, take the side of the, the keg, start releasing the vacuum, and what you'll start seeing is, as we squeeze in, the system's got it and the proof is in the pudding so please feel so oh wow no i mean slowly squeeze in nice and slow oh there we go it's <laughs> like it's light as a feather when you light squeeze that in and that's obviously the the suction in the exactly. air pure vacuum the tube and all we do to increase whatever capacity we're looking for is a bigger lift tube a bigger pump but what we also do with these kegs we create a, a rotation so a keg filling line they want to get at this sort of height we pull this shift and a little rotation and away we go and we stack. So it's That's really nice, cool. A nice and simple movement, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy for the guys to use. But that's what we need. We need to concentrate on lifting 100% of the weight. It's solid. The balance valves, obviously, as you can see, make sure that we've got everything secure. And then all we need to do to rotate it back is pull this little locking nut and away we go. So what's the maximum capacity for this kind of... Um, the maximum capacity is 250 kilos. So the main thing that we try and look for, it'd be great to have flat surfaces, but we know this day and age there's lots of things that we need to do and to, to get around. But as you can see with the curved edges, we have different suction cups, so we have to look at trying to get into different corrosive efforts and things like that. So, yeah, but 250 kilos. This one's designed for the heavy, the slower movements. The ones we looked at earlier is the express parcel, so we're in so many different industries. I mean Heathrow Airport, the airport industry with the baggage and the luggage, and then we've got like behind the express parcel, TNCs, DPDs, etc. So yeah. Brilliant. Well thank you so much for the demo. It's been one of the coolest things that we've we've seen and actually being able to touch that. It's like it's like light as a feather, it's really surprising. Well have a great show. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.